What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is a collective reading. Tap through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. Fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone it has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I got the channel the end, so I decided to do this reading. Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. Welcome in all the newbies and welcome back everybody else. Um, I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I truly do. Every like, subscribe, share, uh, word of mouth share in my video. It really, really helps. Um, single mom, two kids. So I appreciate it. All the love, just saying. Okay. So yeah, so, um, the channel message I received was, um, <clears throat> uh, pregnant, Libra Feminine um, is going to try to attempt to come back and rub a pregnancy in your face. However, it's not, um, however, it's going to backfire on them because you are not jealous. That's what I heard. Um, masculine and feminine energies is what I heard you on the end of that. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap, you guys. Somebody's dealing strongly with the Libra Femme because I've been pulling the Libra Femme. Oh my God, this is what we got on the bottom deck. I haven't uh, shuffled yet for this round, but we got purity on the bottom deck. Pregnancy, 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 pregnancy. That, I mean, everything that happens in the reading happens for a reason. I haven't shuffled yet, but pregnancy, boom. So a Libra Femme, um, um, 35 and above, which I don't know if I said that at the beginning, but I did hear 35 and above. Libra Femme, 35 and above. And I've been pulling this Libra Femme, 35 and above in for anybody who's been watching for a hot minute for about, a week now, I'd say about a week now, pregnant Libra Femme 35 and above. I've been pulling her in, in the internet space. Bill, it might be the same one for a lot of you guys. Um, so somebody's dealing heavily with the Libra Femme 35 and above, uh, and above, sorry, 35 and above. Some of you guys, you're masculine dealing with this Libra Femme 35 and above. Some you're femme, because I heard masculine and feminine energy. So she deals with a lot of people, whoever this resonates with. Um, she, I think she might be in the public eye. <laughs> I'm not responding. <laughs> um, or she, <laughs> sorry, y'all. Um, she, I think she's in the public eye or, um, I do. I think she's in the public eye or she might be in a form of leadership in some shape, form or fashion or have a public platform or you might be in her family, possibly. You might be in her family. Um, you might be a neighbor. You might be a coworker, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I heard she's about to try to come and rub a pregnancy in your face. I mean, how unclassy is that? If she is a form of leadership, that is very, very, very unclassy. Just saying, just saying. Very. Um, just saying. Put my two cents in. Um, and why you would rub a, want to rub a pregnancy in anybody's face is very unclassy. Uh, that's heavy karmic energy. So, and I didn't hear she was a karmic to you, but putting two and two together, she obviously is karmic to you. She wants to rub a pregnancy, rub a pregnancy in your face. And I don't care if you make um, $25,000 a year or you make $5 million a year. That is unclassy as crap. I don't care who you are. Um, you shouldn't go around um, rubbing a pregnancy in somebody's face. I mean, what, 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 what? And I'm serious about that. That is so unclassy. Um, she could have Libra in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, Menham, or Jupiter charts. However, that resonates for whoever. Um, for some, it's your, mas uh, your masculine about to deal with this Libra fam, 35 and above. Um, for some, your fam. So you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit. But she's coming in very, very, very strong over here with her little baby bump. Um, Seriously, for some, she could be six weeks. For some, she could be 36 weeks. I'm not sure. You know, there's 40 weeks of gestation and a pregnancy. Um, and some, you know, there are um, inductions. So that, that's why I said for like six to 36. That's what I'm presenting. She could be six weeks to 36 weeks is what I'm presuming here. Um, but baby bump energy, or maybe the baby bump hasn't displayed yet. I don't know. But we have purity on the bottom of the deck, but she wants to rub this pregnancy up in your face um, in a very nasty way. Um, serious karmic energy. I'm just being serious. So purity, pregnancy. It's the pregnancy, baby buff energy is what I'm feeling. Here. It's obviously, you know, she's not, I mean, she's not pure, just saying. Um, 
she's not being classy about it or there's not going to be classy about it i feel for some you could be a um <laughs> wow i split the deck i got the unexpected um yeah i feel for some you're not going to expect her to come be like oh look at my baby pop oh look i'm pregnant but she's doing it for a reason <laughs> oh man so so I think you're not gonna expect unexpect um, you're not gonna expect it. But I um I heard you're 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 not gonna care. You're not gonna care. Um it's actually going to go the other way in a huge way. Shock the hell out of her. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, this is strong. So I heard it's actually gonna go the other way, shock the hell out of her. So I think that might be one of the unexpected series of chain events too. Um that is gonna shock her. That you're not going to care. You're not going to care. For some, I, I was going to say, for some, I feel you could be an ex-lover of hers or an ex-partner or an ex-spouse. However, that resonates. Um, or you could be somebody that has prayed and prayed and prayed for a child to be pregnant uh, with child. And um, she knows it, possibly. For some, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. But I heard you're not going to care. Or you're going to act like you're not going to care. However, that resonates for you. However, that resonates. Okay, unexpected on the bottom of the deck again. Yeah, I think you're about to shock. I heard, I heard for spirit, you're going to shock the crap out of her. Or shock the crap out of her. And that's a freaking loop that you're going to shock. Her. I mean, even if you do care internally with this person, it sounds very smart to act like you don't care, if that makes sense. And, of course, you can take the advice or leave it. But with this person, they're low vibrational. Like I said, they can make $35,000 a year or $35 million a year. But they're very low vibrational. They just, they want to rub it in your face. They want to rub it in your face. So even if you do internally care is what I'm trying to say. Of course, you can take the vice or leave it. I would act like I didn't. Um, because um, that's what she wants to get a reaction from you. She wants to get a reaction from you. And I heard it was going to backfire in the beginning of the reading. And I heard you're, you're going to, um, you're not going to care. So, so good. Kudos to you. Hunger. I think in this situation, um, for some, you were sexually connected to her. I feel um, you either wanted to have sex with her or you did have sex with her or you were in a relationship with her and maybe you were pining after her and she moved on and got pregnant by somebody else. Um, and um, you're getting over it or you're about to get over it. How that resonates. Um, I feel that's your energy. I do. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have to plug it. I feel guided to get one more. Fruition reversed. Her little um, plan of, oh, look at my baby mom. Look, I'm pregnant. I have moved on and blah, 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 blah. Um, it's not going to come into fruition like she wants it to. Because I think you are about to turn the tables on her. It's exactly what I think. And kudos to you because, like I said, this is a very low vibrational person. Fruition reversed times two. Spirit messages you have just like this. Change. Yeah. Wow. And realization. Okay. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. So we have resistance, upright, assessing, upright, change, upright, realization, upright. Number 25, 9, 35, or 3 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 25, 9, 35, or 3. 3 or 9 could be possible ages of your child or somebody you're connected to's child. 3 or 9. 25 or 35 could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. 25 or 35. Also, these numbers could be possible social security card numbers, date of birth numbers, uh, green card numbers, lottery number, um, jersey number, etc., etc., etc. 25, 9, 35, 3. Resistance upright. Some are going to ignore her. Some are going to block her. Some are going to keep the conversation short. Oh my goodness. Wow. You plug it in how it resonates. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do. I heard some are going to ignore her. Some are going to block her. And some are going to um, 
keep the conversation short. So I feel for some, you might have to interact with her conversational wise. For some, you could live with her possibly or live in the same neighborhood as her um, or work with her is what I'm feeling for the keeping the conversation short. For others of you guys, you might not have spoke to her in a while and she's contacting you to rub it in. And um, I heard you, uh, I feel that kind of energy you might ignore like in call or um, block in call and block her number because I heard um, some you're just not going to communicate some you're going to block her so I'm thinking block off a phone or block out of your life or just knock them around her um, so resistance you're resisting um, you're resisting I feel for some you're going to resist to say what you really want to say to her too and I'm serious about that with the resistance um, I feel you're going to keep it tactful but um, but get the point across, if that makes sense. So you're going to keep it tactful, but keep the point across. So you're going to resist to say what you really want to say is what I'm feeling. Let's see if we hear anything. Going to bite tongue, but it's going to be the best thing that ever happened. Know this for you. Okay, I heard you're going to bite your tongue, but it's going to be the best thing that ever happened for you. So um, you're going to resist to say what you really want to say to the ones that are really going to, like, I think face to face or on the phone and just keep it short. I heard you're going to bite your tongue and um, not say what you really want to say and you're going to keep the conversation short. Um, but I heard it's going to be in the long run. It sounds like it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you because, um, you know, you don't want to end up saying, I mean, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> but, you know, you got to think smart and logical. You got to think smart and logical. And um, if you you don't want negativity to come and bite you in the butt in the long run. So bite your tongue probably is, is the smartest situation. Um, the smartest game plan in the situation is what I'm feeling. Assessing upright. Someone is having a huge awakening about the past, huge, and they're about to reveal it hugely to a very, very, very important person, hugely, about to turn the tables. Okay. Whoa. So, okay. You plug in how it resonates. So, if this resonates for you, I heard you're about to have a, um, a huge, for some, you, you could huge awakening of the past or for some you could have already had the huge awakening how that resonates you could have had the huge awakening for some and for some you're about to however that plugs in your life um because everybody's on different time in life paths there's millions of billions of people in the world you have to plug yourself in where you fit um but the realization is the wake up call energy and that's why i have that here and it's coupled with the change which i really should have all three of these here um for some like i said you're about to have it the huge wake up call some i feel you might have already had it but however that resonates, basically, um, I heard um, whether you have already had the wake-up call, you're about to have a huge awakening, a wake-up call um, about this Libra Femme and a, some kind of very serious situation in the past. Um, it's going to cause you to contact a very, very, very important person, I heard. And um, this very important person, whoever this very, very, very important person is, that really could resonate going different ways from different people, however that resonates. But a very, very, very important person in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, it's going to create huge change here. Okay, I heard it's going to create huge change here. So the, contacting this very important, very, very, very important person is going to create huge change here because you're having a huge wake-up call. About, I think they played you. I think this Libra Femme played you. Definitely played you in a huge way. There you go. Holy crap. Okay, I heard definitely played you in a huge way. So they they played they played the hell out of you. Played you like a fiddle in the past. So, but you're either just woke up to realize they played you in a huge way in the past, or you're about to, but however that resonates, whoever you're about to contact um, is going to, I think, help you try, uh, turn the tables in some shape, form, or fashion, which is going to create the change, um, change energy, wake up call, awakening energy. It's going the phone call to the very, very, very important person. It's going to create the 555 energy, change energy. 
Um, and then um, you were assessing assessment energy, assessing, assessing the situation, which caused the awakening and the wake up call energy is what I'm feeling for a lot of you guys, um, or you're about to be doing this, however that resonates for you. Um, but I think you, you were resisting this. Um, I think you were resisting the fact that you got played in the past uh, for some. I do. I, I can't hear. Thank you. Um, I think you were resisting the fact that you got played in the past is what I'm feeling. Um, but I think now you're realizing you really got, I mean, dude, you got played or you did, you got played, played in a huge way. But now you're about to play the player. Oh, snap. Well, you go with your bad self. Oh, shit. Okay. I heard you got played in a huge way. So you got played in a huge way by this Libra, pregnant Libra fan. But I heard now you're about to play the player. So you got played like a fiddle, but buddy, you're about to get out your freaking mandolin and your bigger fiddle or your whatever the hell you got going on over there, your guitar, whatever, and you're about to play it even bigger back. So tit for bigger tap is what it sounds like. So you plug it in how it resonates. But yeah, I feel some of this energy is you resisting, blocking out, and not wanting to accept the fact in the past that this person played you, this Libra Femme 35 and above played you, but they did. And I, uh, that was double deuces confirmation in here from Spirit that they did in a huge way. But, buddy, this is a very important phone call to whoever the crap you're about to call is about to basically be a game changer for you, others possibly, and this Libra Femme. I heard it's about to turn, change the ta uh, turn the tables in a huge way. So huge 555 energy in here. Huge 555 change energy. Uh, for you, this Libra Feminine, 35 and above, Pregnant Libra Femme, 35 and above, and possibly others. Because for some of you guys, I feel your heavy hitter energy, and I'm not even going to lie. And I didn't hear that. I just feel you are. I feel your heavy hitter energy. I feel this I feel this is heavy hitter energy for some. For some, I feel you might be. Um, I feel this is big boy, big girl game energy here. Um, heavy shiznit. And I'm not even going to lie. Um, I do. I do, I do. For some. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, but I do. I feel some of you guys are heavy hitters up in this beach, and I'm being broke. All right, I love you guys. Everybody make wonderful choices, and I'm going to say.